Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi everybody, Pastor Everett. I just wanted to pop in on your evening and I'm, I'm excited about what God is doing at Breakthrough Church and I know that God is moving in your life and, and uh, I wanted to bring a, a little a verse to you tonight. Um, I want to read it out of the Passion Translation, uh, 2 Peter 3 verses 8 and 9. I'll just read it to you. It says, So dear friends, don't let this one thing ex escape your notice. A single day counts like a thousand years to the Lord, Yahweh. A thousand years counts as one day. In verse 9, this means that contrary to man's perspective, th the Lord is not late with his promise to return, as some measure lateness but rather his delay simply reveals his loving patience toward you because he does not want any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Let me just pray for us. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you touch us from the top of our head to the sole of our feet, Lord, that you would open our eyes, our ears, and our, especially our heart and our mind, that we can see, hear, know, and understand something brand new from the Word of God tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So I, I, like to, I like to think about this little portion of Scripture. Uh, and the first word that really pops out to me is, is escape. It's like often I think we are trying to escape. <laughs> we're, we're trying to escape things in our life and trying to, to avoid things in our life and trying to, you know, those, those uh, relationships that are struggling and you don't really want to talk to that person because you're, you know, you, you just don't want to deal with it. You, you know that. Uh, uh, especially if you're married, <laughs> which brings up a great point, right? Because if we, are, uh, if we are following Christ, sometimes it's the difficult things that we try to avoid that really will do the most work in our life. And it's the, it's the weightier things that we have to deal with that really deal with a great deep-seated problem that's been really plaguing our life may, maybe for many years. Right. And so <laughs> I, th I think it's so powerful to think about the things that escape our notice. And, and, and often I, I maybe it's just me, but especially be, uh, this this time and this season of all of our lives all over the world where we've been forced to, to stop. Right. To shelter in place, to to take a step back, to 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 rethink, to relook at something, to relook at the ones that are closest to us and to reimagine, if you will, what, what that relationship could look like, to be more creative as a person. Maybe, it may, maybe this time has, has brought you to a place where you've rediscovered uh, something about yourself or something about somebody that's really close to you, like a husband or a wife or a friend or a coworker possibly. And, and what is it that God has, uh, that has escaped your notice, right, that God has now revealed to, to all of us? And, and how is it that that will change my life in the future going forward? Because, because I have to change now my nows to make something new happen in the future. And so, uh, and then I love this verse, and this has been interpreted many different ways. Uh, a, a single day counts like a thousand years to the Lord Yahweh. And Yahweh just means, uh, it just it really, if you really dissect that word, it just means that I'm God, right? I'm God. And so if God is God, and he, that's, that's what's really powerful. God was here before we were. God will be here after earth is gone. And, and, and we, we, have to, we have to understand that he's the God who created everything. Everything comes from God. Everything is from God. And, and uh, which my, one of my favorite verses, uh, Romans uh, uh, chapter 11, the last verse in there, it says, all things are of him. All things are to him and all things are from him. And the last little part there, it says, to him be the glory, right? I want to give him glory for everything that comes to me, everything that goes through me, and everything that will come out of me. Amen. I want God to have the glory over all of those things in my life. And, and uh, because he is Yahweh, he is, he is, he is the God who created me. He's the one that gave me my personality. He's the one that gave me, uh, I mean, sometimes I, I, uh, how creative we are, how <laughs> whatever it is that we are, whatever gift you are, 
that was specifically given to you by God before time began. See, God is not in time. He's, a, he's, not, the, he's not a God of, of, of time, but He is a God of timing. Right? He, 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 he put us together tonight. He, he's having me speak to you tonight. He's having you, however you found this broadcast, he, He's speaking to you right now, and He's saying, I'm Yahweh. I'm God. I am the God who created you. I'm the one who, who before time imagined a person called you. I, I, I made you. I formed you. I made you ex very specifically in your mother's womb. And, and I presented you to the world at the right moment, at the right time. In 2020, 2020, it was clear to me, amen, that God created me for this. I was created, maybe you should say it with me. I was created for this. I was created for this. And you know, however ugly or bad it looks, this, whatever this is in your life, or whatever this is in my life, God made you specifically for it. And if He did make you specifically for it, <laughs> by God, I can get through it. Amen? By God, I can rise above it. By God, I can become what He's called me to be. Amen? Amen. Yahweh. You are Yahweh. I should sing that to you. <laughs> you are Yahweh. Come on, you are Yahweh. Amen? He's God. He's the one. I, I, I shift my focus from today to, to Yahweh. Amen? It's not my way, but it's your way, God. Amen? Amen? I, uh, and a thousand years is like one day to God. God, God doesn't end time. He's outside of time. He... He's, he's outside of time, and he wrote a story. He's, is, I love that. He's the author, and he's the finisher. <laughs> I always focus more on the finishing part because, you know, God, come on, just finish this in my life. Why do I got to be here today? Why do I got to do this today? Why do I got to be here? Finish it, God. Finish it, God. God is a finisher. He will not stop working in your life. He will not stop working on your behalf. He will not stop working. He's, he's working. He's working. <laughs> I was sitting back on the, on the drums, I don't know, a month or two or three months ago or something, and I just heard this in my, in my, in my spirit. And it was like, it, it was, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, maybe, maybe it's, I'm not a songwriter, but he said, I, this is what I said, he's working it out. He's working it out for my good. He's working it out. And, and you know what? He's working it out. Amen? He's working it out because <laughs> He's working it out of me. Amen? It has to come out of me. Whatever it is, it has to come out of you so that God can be glorified. Amen? This means, in verse 9, it says, it means contrary to my perspective. Because my perspective on the matter really doesn't matter. Because my perspective is always slanted to what feels good or looks good or I, how I feel it should be. See, because I'm going to tell you right now, I, my feelings will lie to me every time. But God, His Word will never tell me a lie. Amen? That's how we know the direction for our life is that the Word of God, God's Word is true every day, in every circumstance, in every relationship, all the time. Wouldn't you like it if God... If, if you could go into a relationship with a renewed perspective that said, you know what, I, it's not my way, but His way. And you know what, the truth will always win in the end. And if I, if I listen and walk in truth, even if I don't understand it, even if I don't get it in my little mind, even if my heart feels a certain way about something, I have, to, I have to come to a position that says, it's His way. His way is right. I put faith in the truth. I walk out on that truth and God will make a way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? But my perspective is often contrary to what God is trying to do. My perspective. The Lord is not late with His promise. It's sometimes the delay. That's what I like about that. It's the delay. It's God's delay that we should be grateful for because it's His delay that keeps me from moving too quickly. It's, it's His delay that, that teaches me, 
patience. It's his delay that teaches me that I need his wisdom and not mine. It's his delay that changes my eyesight. It's his delay that makes me remember God has been faithful to me. He will be faithful to someone else. See, often I look at my neighbor, I look at my, the, the other person around me, and I, I think, God, just strike them dead. You know? God, God I, I pray you know, the fleas of a thousand camels to infest their armpits. I, I, I pray it. And, and you know what happens? God delays. Because it's not my perspective. It's His that I need to come into alignment with. Amen? And if I will come into alignment with Him, guess what will happen? Whatever God wants to have happen. Isn't that powerful? So, so, so then the offspring of faith. Come on, I need the faith of Abraham. I need to be the offspring. I need to, be the, I need to see Isaac born in my life. I need to see salvation come. I, I need to see the joy come out like Isaac. Isaac was a joy that was birthed after faith was engaged. And, that, and Isaac, in the moment when Abraham was going to stick him with a knife, when he bound him and laid him on a, on a pile of wood, and he laid down him bound, he didn't fight. He didn't fight Abraham, his father. He surrendered. That's exactly what we have to do as a Christian. We've got to come to a place where we'll surrender our life. We'll, we'll surrender our perspective. We'll, we'll surrender our, 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 what is it? What's that word? It's a, I'm, I'm, I don't like delays. I want, it, I want it now. I want it my way. I want it now. We surrender that. My will must surrender. My heart must surrender. My mind must surrender. My actions must prove that I'm surrendered then God has been, <laughs> had his full work in my life. Amen? Then I can, then I'm ready. Then I'm ready. Amen? I'm surrendered and then I'm ready. And if God, God sh chooses to say, Abraham, stop the knife, guess what? I have provided another sacrifice. Amen? But he's looking for a heart that surrendered. Amen? Amen? That's so powerful right there. I want to I give you this opportunity to pray with me. And let, let's just pray together. Father, I surrender all. All to you, Father. Everything I own, everything I possess, all the things I think about, all the things in my heart, all my past relationships, all my past failures, all the things that have ever gone on, Father, I surrender to you right now. And I lay down the burden. And I say, Jesus, come and be Lord of my life. Come and take my heart. Come and take my life and use me, God. Move me, God. Reorganize me, Lord. Shift me, Lord. Help me to be who you've called me to be. And Father, we pray that in faith, believing that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above and beyond all we can think or even imagine. And Father, we give you all of those things, the vision that we thought, Lord, we give that to you now and we receive now, God, the peace of God that passes all understanding. And we thank you, Lord, that even this moment is a God moment. I feel, I feel that right there. Woo. And Father, I, 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 bless, I bless those of us that are praying together right now. I bless them, Father. I, I ask for transformation to occur, Lord, in their life transformation of heart and life and mind god we thank you lord relationships are being transformed right now father thank you for for instilling in us the peace of god the presence of god where the where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty amen i am no longer bound i am set free in the name of jesus we pray amen and amen god is good we love you and uh, we, we're so excited about all that God is doing. Uh, if you would go to my breakthrough, that's one word, dot online, that's our website. We would love to connect with you or partner with you. Uh, we want to take uh, little messages like this all around the world. And we want you to be a part of that, a uh, part of the harvest. Amen? It's harvest time. I want you to say it with me. It's harvest time. It's time, it's time for God to do something in the, in the world around us. And we got to do it together. I can do it by myself, but man, if I could link arms with someone, if I could link arms with you and you and me, and, and you don't worry, you don't have to worry about, well, I, I'm, just, I'm just so buddy, I'm just so-and-so, I'm just so-and-so. It's about a unity that happens when all of us would, would unite and come together as the body of Christ, the kingdom of God is established, amen? 
right now, right where we stand. I love that verse, Joshua. He says, everywhere my feet are standing, and he stands there, and I think he's, he's just standing there like this going, this is, this, is, this is the ground, this is the promised land, right where I'm standing. This is the moment, this is the time, amen? And so I'm, I'm excited about what God is doing, and uh, God bless you. We look forward to hearing and seeing from you real soon, amen? Amen.